So check it out. Been going through my inventory again, and if you're like me, if you've been collecting marks for any time at all, you'll soon find out that you have uh, quite a few log dump cars you didn't even realize you had. And also, if you're like me, the majority, if not all of them, will be missing the logs. So I thought I'd try to make my own. And so I um, went to Lowe's today, and I found some half-inch by 72-inch dowel rod, which is just about the size that the uh, Marks ones are. And so I decided to uh, cut my own, and Marks uh, included five. I've also uh, got a load of uh, Grossman replacements, and those are what I used uh, as my example. And I was able to get 13 out of one dowel rod, so I bought three of them. So that should uh, be able to give me enough of them to fill all my cars. So I'll show you how I did that, and then you can check them out. Okay, so I started out with a half inch by 72 inch piece of dowel rod that I just bought from Lowe's. It's Poplar, and I used a Grossman replacement uh, as my guide. I put a piece of blue masking tape in the area where I'm going to make the cut. That'll keep uh, the wood from splintering, so you get a nice clean cut, nice end like that. And with the 72 inch, you should be able to get 13 pieces. I think it's about five and a quarter inches long. And so we'll give it a cut. I can't do it and run the camera at the same time. So we'll cut it and then we'll put them on the cars. So it's kind of neat the way these log dump cars worked. Most of them had a little arm back here that released a, a copper spring. And then we just dump the logs out. As you can see, the uh, poplar ones still work. They're not too heavy. And there's a little spring on the back i'll uncouple it i make me show it to you how they work is pretty simple it's a little spring catch spring here and this spring is what pushes the bed up and the little arm is what releases the catch spring and that's how they work it holds them down so let me put that back down there and some of them also had a solenoid that you had to have a little track trip piece and a little activator so they would stay down and let's see if I can get that load back on there there we go so that's an easy way to replace uh, your logs if you're missing them if you have a nice uh, circular saw or miter saw so thanks again for watching God bless and never forget Jesus is Lord